we're here at the COE Technodrome. I'm the unmanned systems project manager with the Center of Excellence. We explore new technologies specific to unmanned systems and how those technologies can be best used within the public safety first responder community. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at UAS applications that can be utilized with COTAC. We'll also talk about the value that these applications have for first responders and public safety. For those of you who are unfamiliar with TAC or COTAC, you can visit COTAC.gov. The first TAC integration we want to talk about is the UAS Tool plugin. UAS Tool is an ATAC plugin that substitutes the native flight control software, which allows the operator to maintain full control of the drone with additional situational awareness features. ATAC allows the operator who is using the plugin to disseminate mission critical information to other TAC users. This is different than using the native system or software on the drones as the operator is the only one who gets to see that information. Some of the features in UAS Tool plugin include the location of the drone on the map. This allows you to see where the drone is in addition to the other resources within your operation. Knowing the drone's location is critical. In addition, you're able to see the view of the camera on the drone. You're able to take that feed and push it to all TAC users. Therefore, they have the same information that the operator has. In addition to live video feed, you're able to have an augmented reality, which overlays other COTAC users onto your live video feed. Other advanced features within UAS Tool plugin include command and control of the aircraft, autonomous flight, and mission requests. The UAS Tool plugin works on most public safety platforms. The UAS Tool plugin is free, and the Center of Excellence hosts and maintains a secure video server. DroneSense is a standalone flight software application that has many features including live video streaming and displaying the location of your UAS platform. It differs from UAS Tool plugin as you're not operating in TAC, but rather you're sending the video feed and the location to TAC users. Some of the features you'll see in TAC include the location of the drone, the live video stream, and the field of view overlay. Beyond integrating into TAC, DroneSense is a full drone management software system. It includes fleet management, pilot reporting, and the ability to plan missions ahead of time. DroneSense is a subscription-based service that is typically used in large enterprise-type public safety operations. Skydio and other NDAA compliant platforms take a different approach. They allow the operator to stream live video using attack integration built into the controller. This approach does not require installation of plugin or any additional software. You will see features similar to drone sense, including the location of the drone, the live video stream, and the field of view. Knowing the location of your drone is important. To locate authorized and unauthorized drone users and to display that information in TAC, Drone Home offers a solution. Nine Hill Tech makes a receiver that integrates with Drone Home plugin that can receive remote ID transmissions from two to four miles away. Sensors and Signals also makes a receiver that integrates within TAC that picks up the remote ID signal. If you have any other questions with the UAS Tool plugin, DroneSense, SkyDio, or any of the receivers mentioned, reach out to us at kotac.gov support.